Over the last couple of videos, we've talked about two new forms or ways of expressing points in three-dimensional space, cylindrical form and spherical form. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to convert between those two forms. We've already talked a lot about how to convert from cylindrical form to rectangular form and spherical form to rectangular form, but not spherical directly to cylindrical here. So here's all of our old conversions that we've already discovered and it turns out these guys can help us discover our new conversions directly from cylindrical to spherical. So that's that's what we're going to talk about. So if you're a little pressed for time, um, here's, here's what we'll do. Here's the, the conversions that we're going to do in a minute. We've got six of them here from cylindrical to uh, spherical and back. Um, if you just need them and you don't really care about the derivations of them, you can pause this video and here they are. Uh, so just pause the video, jot them down, and you can keep going to the example videos that we're going to do next. But, uh, but we're going to take a minute and actually derive these and actually just see where they come from because it's, it's kind of interesting to see uh, where all these different equations come from. So uh, I'm going to hide these right here and we're actually going to see where these uh, come from next. So if you want to stay with us, we'll uh, love it if you stayed with us. If not, you can go on to the example videos. All right, so let's see here. On the first set of three, we're going to assume that we're given rho, theta, and phi, and we're going to try to find r, theta, and z. And then the uh, second set of three equations, four, five, and six, we'll do the reverse. <clears throat> we'll say that we're provided r, theta, and z, and we've got to find rho, theta, and, and phi. All right, so how, how do we do this first? If we're given a, a or an R, a theta, and a Z, how do you find, let's say, rho? Um, if you bear with us, this is the most complicated of the six. So if you stick it out through the first equation, the other five will take no, no time at all. Um, <clears throat> but the first one is, is a little hairy. All right, so here's, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at our old equations, and I see a R, uh, an R, here's an R, R squared equals X squared plus Y squared. And then in the green list, I see an equation for x and an equation for y that are in terms of rho, theta, and phi. And so it sounds perfect. So we're going to take x squared plus y squared and set it equal to r squared. But I'm going to use these instead of x and y. So if I can squeeze this in somewhere, I will try to do that. So we'll have rho sine phi, rho sine phi, cosine theta squared, that's x squared, plus rho sine phi sine theta squared, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. All right, um, let's square everything. We'll have rho squared times sine squared phi times cosine squared theta plus rho squared sine squared phi sine squared theta equals r squared. Look at these two terms on the left hand side of the equal sign. They both have a, a common factor of rho squared sine squared phi. Let's factor that out rho squared times sine squared phi times what? You'd have cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. But wait a minute, cosine squared plus sine squared, that's one, isn't it? That's a trig identity. So actually we'll just have rho squared times sine squared, actually I made a typo, my mistake, should be sine squared phi, not sine squared theta. Hope I said it right, but I, I wrote it incorrectly. But um, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta would be 1. And so that would be equal to r squared. And so you would have r equal to rho sine phi. And r, let's assume r is positive and rho is positive. So we would have r equals rho sine phi. And since phi is 0 to 180, in the first and second quadrant, sign's already positive, so we can just take the square root of both sides here. So there you go, that's your conversion we're after. If you want an r value, but all you have is rho, theta, and phi, then we've got it. 
there we go. So we would have, let's see here, uh, R equals <coughs> rho times sine of phi. So given a rho and a phi, we can find R. All right, that was a long one. If you made it through that one, congratulations. The other five are very fast and very easy. Um, if we were given a row theta and phi and we wanted theta easy done the thetas are the same so you'll take your theta and that'll be your new theta so if your theta in spherical coordinates was pi over 4 the theta in cylindrical form would be pi over 4 um, for the third equation if you want we have r we have theta if you want z that's done that's immediate uh, we can cheat a little bit. If we're given rho, theta, and phi, we can find z. Uh, let's look back at our old equations here. Um, look at this one in orange that I'm boxing in right here. Right here. Given a rho and a phi, we can find our z value. Rectangular form has a z, and cylindrical form has a z. So it's the same formula. So we'd have z equals rho cosine phi. So we've converted r, theta, and z. Now let's go the other direction, and these three will be also pr pretty fast. Let's assume now we're given <coughs> rho, I'm sorry, r, theta, and z, and we want rho. So let's look back at our old equations and see if there's anything we can kind of cheat with a little bit. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, look at, um, look at this one right here in uh, red. Look at this one I'm boxing in in red right here. Rho squared equals x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And you say, well, Devin, you can't use that. That has an x and a y. That, that's not cylindrical form. That's rectangular form. Well, rho is okay to have because that's spherical. Z is okay to have because that's cylindrical. But think about the x squared plus y squared. Can you convert that to cylindrical? What is x squared plus y squared? Hint, hint, it is r squared. So let's, let's do this, and I'll, I'll do this in white up here in the corner. You can write this as rho squared equals not x squared plus y squared plus z squared, but r squared plus z squared, because I, I just took out the x squared plus y squared, switched it for r squared. Okay, so rho would be the square root of not x squared plus y squared plus z squared, but r squared plus z squared. Uh, number five, just like number two, uh, if you're given a theta in cylindrical, that's the same theta in spherical. So theta equals theta. All right, and our last one, last one, we've got a row, we've got a theta. How do you get phi? How do you get phi? Let's look back at our old equations. Was there any old equation that had a phi? Uh, I think there is. Uh, how about this guy right here in blue with the star right here? phi is this, but then you say, well, wait a minute, Devin, I'm okay with the z, the z is fine, z is cylindrical, but x squared plus y squared, that's not cylindrical. Oh, but wait, we have that same trick as before right here. x squared plus y squared is r squared. So we can just swap that out and we're done. So uh, if it feels kind of like cheating, it, it kind of is. We're just using old stuff to find new stuff. So we'll have arc cosine of uh, z over the square root, not x squared plus y squared plus z squared, but just r squared plus z squared. So we can go both directions now from spherical to cylindrical and cylindrical back to spherical. So that, that completes the circle. We have three different forms, and now we've talked about how to convert from any one form to any other form. Uh, what we have not done yet, hardly at all, is we haven't done any examples. We haven't actually converted anything to anything. So we're going to have a bunch of videos coming up next where we're going to do two different types of conversions. Some types of conversions are converting a point 
in one form into a point into another form. And another type of conversion is converting an equation in one form into an equation in another form. And we'll do a whole bunch of, of examples in, in all different directions and points to points and equations to equations. So uh, anyways, hopefully cylindrical, spherical, and rectangular all kind of make sense now. And hopefully you can now convert back and forth between the different forms.